Barlow World Limited produced a sound set of results uh, for the six months ended uh, March 2014. Our revenues in the period were up 5% and this translated into an increase in operating profits of 18%. Uh, that uh, represented a pleasing improvement in our operating margins across most of the businesses uh, in the period. We also disposed of our motor retail interests in Australia for 1.3 billion rand and that translated into a realised profit on disposal of 370 million. Our basic earnings per share were up 71% in the period and that of course included uh, the 370 million profit uh, on the disposal of the Australian interests and our headline earnings per share which excludes uh, that exceptional profit were up 10% uh, in the period. The board also declared a dividend uh, up 10% in the period uh, based on the confidence it has in our cash generation over the balance of the six months. Our equipment and handling division um, had a solid result in the period. We were pleased with the equipment Southern Africa results where the operating profits were up 17% uh, uh, year on year. And this was despite a continuing challenging environment in the mining sector. Our revenues were however boosted by a good performance from our EMPR or extended mining product range business. And this was on the back of two large contracts, one with Swakop uh, Uranium up in Namibia and the other with uh, First Quantum Minerals uh, up in Zambia. We also benefited from continuing growth in our aftermarket revenues uh, on the back of the big installed um, base of, of Caterpillar equipment that continues to work out uh, in the field. Moving on to our Russian operations, uh, here we, we face a similar conditions in the mining sector where companies are, are deferring uh, major capex spends and deferring new mine expansions. Uh, and I think the impact of the Russia-Ukraine crisis was also felt to some extent. Russian economic growth uh, is slowing and uh, there is political uncertainty as a result uh, of that situation. Nevertheless, our revenues held up relatively well in the period and we benefited uh, from some currency translations. So our operating profits in RAND terms were flat year on year. In Spain, um, economic conditions remain challenging. Although there are some signs of improvement in the overall economy, the construction sector is lagging that, and as a result, we reported a small loss in the period. Our handling results were broadly flat uh, year on year, uh, but the prior period did include profits uh, from the Belgium and Netherlands operations, which have subsequently been disposed. Moving on to our automotive and logistics division, uh, this probably represented the highlight of our trading in the period, uh, where on 11% uh, revenue growth, we generated a 26% improvement in operating profits. And if one includes uh, the Australian operations, which were discontinued in the period, operating profits were up 29%. And, and this strong growth uh, was reflected in a very good performance across all of our business units operating in, in this division. Uh, in the car rental business, our operating profits were up 35% and that reflected good growth in uh, rental days as well as a, a small increase in, in rental revenue per day and high uh, vehicle utilisations. The motor retail business in Southern Africa uh, generated operating profits 17% up, which was pleasing in an environment where new car sales were in fact negative uh, across the industry in the period, uh, but we had good growth in our aftermarket uh, revenues and solid cost control. Our fleet services business showed good organic growth uh, across its um, um, major contracts as well as some margin improvement and that saw operating profits in that business unit uh, up 27% in the period. And then finally our logistics division also uh, showed 27% uh, operating profit growth in the six months and that's on the back of a very strong performance from our uh, dedicated uh, transport services business or Bala World Transport Solutions, a solid performance in supply chain management uh, and continued difficulty in some of the international logistics businesses. If one looks at the, the outlook and the way forward, uh, I think we still expect some difficult conditions, uh, at least for the next six months in the, in the mining sector on a global basis. Um, which uh, will reduce our mining revenues in, uh, in Russia and Southern Africa. However, we have got some countervailing influences. The EMPR business continues to grow. Uh, the construction sector in Southern Africa is looking up uh, and we do expect continued growth in aftermarket revenues.
In Russia, the outlook will be determined uh, by what transpires in, in the current uh, situation between Russia and Ukraine, as that could impact uh, economic growth in the region. Our Spanish business uh, will likely suffer from continuing uh, weakness in the construction sector. However, we will be taking action to further reduce the cost base to position that business for profitability into 2015. And across our automotive and logistics businesses, uh, despite some challenging market conditions, we expect continued growth over the next six months, uh, particularly uh, in the logistics uh, division where we expect a, a stronger uh, second half. Overall, the Bala World Limited Group is well positioned for the future and we expect to deliver a solid set of results for the full year to September 2014.